Hello and welcome back to the HIV RNA Test Guide Podcast. You know where to find us. Your trusted source for HIV testing. With over 4,500 testing labs across the United States. That's right. We know you're dedicated to staying informed about HIV, and that's where we're diving deep into the extraordinary breakthroughs in HIV cure research you know, happening right now in 2025. Yeah. Um, for years, you know, managing HIV with antiretroviral therapy, or mm -hmm. ART, has been the focus. Right. And while ART has been a game changer, letting people live long, healthy lives with HIV, a cure has felt like a distant dream. But now that dream is starting to feel within reach. Well, what's so exciting is that we're seeing progress on multiple fronts with groundbreaking research using CRISPR CART cell therapy, NK cells, and even stem cell transplants. It's like the scientific community is throwing everything they've got at this challenge, and it's leading to some truly amazing results. Yeah. So let's start with CRISPR, which sounds like something straight out of science fiction. It really does. How is this gene editing technology being used in the quest for an HIV cure? Well, CRISPR is like a molecular scalpel that allows scientists to precisely target and modify DNA sequences. Okay. In the case of HIV, researchers are using CRISPR to cut out the HIV DNA that's integrated into a person's cells, essentially aiming to eliminate the virus at its core. So instead of just suppressing the virus like art does, CRISPR could potentially remove it from the body completely. Exactly. Wow. One of the leading examples of this approach is EBT-101, a therapy developed by Excision Biotherapeutics. Okay. It's shown incredibly promising results in early trials, with some participants experiencing significant reductions in the amount of HIV DNA in their bodies. That's remarkable. Okay. Is this therapy available yet, or is it still in the experimental phase? It's not available yet, but it's moving quickly through the development pipeline. Right. EBT-101 received fast-track designation from the FDA back in 2023, which means it's being expedited because of its potential to address a critical unmet medical need. We're all eagerly watching as patient trials continue and hopefully bring us closer to a cure. It's mind-blowing to think that we could be on the verge of long-term remission, or maybe even a complete cure for HIV. Yeah. Now let's shift gears and talk about CAR-R T-cell therapy. I know it's been a game-changer for certain types of cancer. Absolutely. How are scientists adapting this approach to fight HIV? With CAR-T therapy, we're essentially reprogramming the body's own immune cells to become super soldiers in the fight against HIV. Imagine taking T cells, which are a type of white blood cell from a patient's blood, and giving them a genetic upgrade in the lab. So you're enhancing the immune system's natural ability to target and destroy HIV infected cells. Precisely. These modified T cells called CAR T cells are then reinfused into the patient's body where they seek out and destroy HIV infected cells with remarkable precision. That sounds incredibly powerful. Mm. Are there any challenges in getting CAR T cells to work effectively against HIV? One of the biggest hurdles is ensuring that the CAR T cells stay active in the body long enough to make a lasting impact. Another challenge is making sure these engineered cells can navigate the complex environment of the immune system and reach all the hidden pockets where HIV tends to hide. So it's not just about creating these super soldiers, it's about making sure they can survive and thrive in the battlefield of the human body. You got it. Recent trials have focused on improving the persistence of CAR T cells and tackling those viral reservoirs where HIV can lie dormant. It's a delicate balancing act, but the potential rewards are enormous. Speaking of harnessing the body's natural defenses, that brings us to NK cell therapy. Right. Could you explain how these natural killer cells are being utilized in the fight against HIV? So NK cells are like the body's first responders. They constantly patrol for infected or cancerous cells ready to attack without needing any specific training. And the exciting part is that they have a relatively low side effect profile compared to some other therapies. So you're taking an already powerful weapon and making it even more effective at targeting HIV. Exactly. Scientists are engineering NK cells to be even more potent HIV assassins. Early trials have been encouraging, but we still need more research to optimize their engineering and ensure they can effectively target those pesky latent HIV reservoirs. It's amazing how scientists are finding ways to leverage the body's own immune system to combat HIV. Yeah. Now, shifting to a different approach, what role have stem cell transplants played in HIV cure research? Stem cell transplants have taken center stage in a few remarkable HIV cure cases. Okay. The Berlin patient, the London patient, and the New York patient. These individuals achieved long-term remission, essentially a cure after receiving stem cell transplants from donors with a rare genetic mutation that makes their cells resistant to HIV. So they essentially replaced their immune systems with ones that are immune to HIV. That's right. 
That's incredible. Mm. But imagine finding donors with this rare mutation is like finding a needle in a haystack. You're right, it's extremely rare. That's why researchers are trying to recreate this effect in other patients without relying on finding these unique donors. They're exploring ways to make stem cell transplantations safer and more widely applicable, opening up a world of possibilities for a broader population. It's a testament to human ingenuity that we're even considering such groundbreaking solutions. Yeah. It's truly a remarkable time to be alive and witnessing these advances. Absolutely. And it all builds on the decades of research that led to effective HIV treatments like RT, which has been a true game changer. Now with these new approaches, we're looking beyond just managing the virus to actually eliminating it from the body. It's an incredibly hopeful time. It certainly is. And speaking of innovative approaches, we can't forget about gene therapy. Ah, uh, yes. Gene therapy. It seems like it's being explored for so many different conditions. Yeah, it is. How does it fit into the landscape of HIV cure research? Gene therapy holds immense potential as a functional cure for HIV. Okay. The basic idea is to modify genes within immune cells, essentially giving them a genetic upgrade to resist HIV infection. So instead of just fighting the virus after it enters the body, you're fortifying the cells to prevent HIV from getting in in the first place. It's like building a wall around the cells to keep the virus out. That's a great analogy. Yeah. One promising approach involves targeting the CCR5 receptor, which acts like a doorway that HIV uses to enter cells. So if you can block that doorway, you can essentially make the cells invisible to the virus, right? Precisely. Clinical trials are exploring various gene editing techniques to modify the CCR5 gene and create this genetic shield against HIV. Were there any specific gene therapy trials that are showing particularly promising results? One notable example is a trial using zinc finger nucleases, a type of gene editing tool to disrupt the CCR5 gene. Early results have shown that these modified cells are indeed resistant to HIV infection. What would a successful gene therapy for HIV mean for people living with the virus? What would that future look like? Imagine a world where people with HIV no longer need to take daily medication to manage their condition. Gene therapy could potentially offer a one-time treatment that provides long-lasting protection against the virus, freeing them from the burden of daily pills and potential side effects. That would truly be a transformative breakthrough. Absolutely. And while there are still hurdles to overcome the potential of gene therapy to revolutionize HIV treatment is undeniable. It's mind-boggling to think that we've gone from a time when HIV was considered a death sentence to a time when we're talking about potential cures. It's a testament to the relentless efforts of researchers and the power of scientific innovation. I couldn't agree more. And the most exciting part is that all of this research is happening simultaneously with scientists building on each other's discoveries and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It feels like we're on the precipice of a major breakthrough in HIV cure research. Yeah. But as we celebrate these incredible advancements, it's crucial to remember the importance of early detection, especially for our listeners who are particularly interested in HIV testing. You're absolutely right. With these groundbreaking treatments on the horizon, early detection becomes even more critical. The sooner someone knows their status, the sooner they can access these potentially life-changing therapies and be part of this incredible wave of progress. And speaking of early detection, we know that HIV RNA testing is the most sensitive method for detecting the virus in its early stages, often within 9 to 11 days after exposure. That's right. HIV RNA tests look for the actual virus in the blood, not just antibodies, which can take weeks to develop. This early detection window is essential for maximizing the effectiveness of these new therapies. So with all these advancements in HIV cure research, HIV RNA testing becomes even more crucial. It's not just about knowing your status, it's about potentially accessing a cure. This is particularly relevant for our listeners who rely on our podcast for reliable information about HIV testing across the United States. Exactly, and we can't emphasize enough how important it is for everyone to know their status. If you have any concerns about potential exposure, please get tested. It could be the first step towards a future free from HIV. Now, before we move on to the next part of our deep dive, I want to circle back to something we touched on earlier, the remarkable cases of the Berlin patient, the London patient, and the New York patient. These individuals achieved long-term remission of HIV after receiving stem cell transplants from donors with a rare HIV-resistant mutation. These cases provide undeniable proof that an HIV cure is possible. They've ignited a new wave of hope and determination in the scientific community. 
It's like a beacon of light shining through, showing us that what was once considered impossible is now within reach. Precisely. And while these cases involve very specific circumstances, they've opened up new avenues of research and spurred scientists to explore innovative approaches to replicate these remarkable results. It's truly inspiring to see how far we've come in HIV research. You know, we've gone from managing the virus to actively pursuing a cure. And that shift has huge implications for how we think about testing and treatment. Yeah, it's like the game is changing right before our eyes. We're mm -hmm. not just talking about living with HIV, we're talking about the possibility of eradicating it completely. Exactly. And that brings us back to you, our listeners, and your interest in HIV testing across the United States. With these groundbreaking treatments on the horizon, early detection becomes even more crucial. It's like knowing a revolution is about to happen, and you want to be prepared to take full advantage of the new possibilities. Precisely. Early detection empowers individuals to take control of their health, explore all their options, and potentially even be part of finding a cure. So what does this all mean for someone listening right now who's thinking, okay, this is fascinating, but what does it mean for me? It means that knowing your HIV status is more important than ever before. If you have any concerns about potential exposure or you're experiencing any symptoms getting tested, should be your top priority. And remember, HIV RNA testing is the most accurate and reliable method for early detection. It can detect the virus within days of exposure, giving you the earliest possible window to access treatment and make informed decisions about your health. And as we've discussed, those decisions could include participating in clinical trials for these incredible new therapies that are showing so much promise. So if you're thinking about getting tested, don't wait. Take that step, empower yourself with knowledge, and be part of this incredible moment in HIV history. It's a time of hope a time of progress, and a time to embrace the possibility of a future free from HIV. Speaking of pushing boundaries, let's shift our focus to another fascinating area of research, gene therapy. Yeah, gene therapy is like science fiction becoming reality. It's using the power of genetics to fight disease at its core. In the context of HIV, how is gene therapy being used to potentially achieve a cure? Gene therapy aims to modify genes within immune cells to make them resistant to HIV infection. Think of it as building a fortress around the cells to prevent HIV from getting in. So instead of just fighting the virus after it enters the body, you're essentially changing the locks on the door so the virus can't even get in. Exactly. One approach involves targeting the CCR5 receptor, which is a protein on the surface of immune cells that HIV uses to gain entry. By modifying this receptor, scientists are making it much more difficult for HIV to infect cells, creating a genetic shield. And are there clinical trials exploring this approach right now? Absolutely. Several trials are underway using different gene editing techniques to modify the CCR5 gene. Have any of these trials shown promising results? Early results have been encouraging. Some participants have experienced significant reductions in viral load and even signs of HIV remission. That's incredibly exciting. What would a successful gene therapy for HIV mean for people living with the virus? Imagine a future where people with HIV could be freed from the burden of daily pills and the potential side effects gene therapy could potentially offer a one-time treatment, eliminating the need for lifelong medication. That would be a truly life-changing development. It's a vision of hope and possibility that's driving researchers to push the boundaries of what's possible. And with each new discovery, we're getting closer to making that vision a reality. Now, I want to touch on something that you, the listener, might be wondering about the connection between all these exciting advancements in HIV research and HIV testing in the United States. How do these breakthroughs affect the way we think about testing? These advancements make early HIV testing even more crucial. The sooner you know your status, the sooner you can access these cutting edge treatments and be part of this transformative moment in HIV history. It's like knowing there's a cure on the horizon and you want to be ready to seize that opportunity. Exactly. And that's why we can't stress enough the importance of HIV RNA testing, which is the most accurate method for detecting the virus in its earliest stages. It's all about empowering yourself with knowledge and taking control of your health. We want our listeners to have access to the best information about HIV testing options across the United States. That's right. We're all in this together. And the more informed we are, the closer we'll get to a future free from HIV. Mm -hmm. But as we look ahead, there's one question that lingers in my mind. So with all these mind-blowing advancements in HIV cure research, how do you see HIV testing and treatment strategies evolving in the coming years? That's the million-dollar question, and it's one that's on the minds of researchers and healthcare providers everywhere. As these new therapies become more widely available, we're likely to see a major shift in focus, from lifelong management to actively pursuing a cure. 
So instead of just suppressing the virus, the goal will be to completely eliminate it from the body. Yeah. That's a paradigm shift. Absolutely. And that shift will have a ripple effect on how we approach HIV testing and treatment. Early detection will become even more critical because many of these new therapies are most effective when administered in the early stages of infection. It makes sense. The earlier you can intervene, the better the chances of achieving a cure. It's like catching a fire when it's just a spark rather than waiting for it to become an inferno. Exactly. We might also see a greater emphasis on personalized medicine with treatment strategies tailored to an individual's specific genetic makeup and the unique characteristics of their HIV infection. So it's moving away from a one-size-fits-all approach to something more individualized and targeted. Precisely. As we unravel the complexities of HIV and the human immune system, we'll be able to develop more precise and effective treatments that take into account each person's unique needs and circumstances. It's a really exciting time to be working in this field. It sounds like we're on the cusp of a whole new era in HIV care, mm. where a cure is no longer a distant dream, but a tangible goal. It's incredibly inspiring. I agree. And for our listeners, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to stay informed about these developments. The landscape of HIV is changing rapidly, and knowledge is power. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to advocate for your health and make informed decisions. Absolutely. We want to empower our listeners with the knowledge they need to navigate these exciting changes in HIV treatment and testing, especially here in the United States. Keep learning, keep asking questions, and keep advocating for your health. And remember, our website, HIVRNAIDITSGUIDE.COM, is a great resource for staying up to date on all the latest advancements in HIV testing and treatment. Together, we can work towards a future where HIV is no longer a global health threat. It might sound like a lofty goal, but with the incredible progress we're seeing, it feels more attainable than ever before. That's a perfect note to end on. Thank you so much for joining us on this deep dive into the future of HIV cure research. It's been an incredible journey filled with hope and possibility. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay hopeful. The future of HIV research is brighter than ever.